a bit awkward. Um, right, this is the first impression from the box. There only seems to be the demo for whatever reason, when it shows us that it's a full complete game. And, um, yeah, it doesn't have any vibe on one. This is from 2016, so it is a um, older game, but it only has, you know, like, just under um, 100. I don't know how good the controls will be on... Did it say that I need a controller for this? I can't remember. Gamepad setting. Alright, so... It might be easier to just use a gamepad. Mm. It is a demo, so I can just try play. I can do a longer one with this. I don't the full game for more worlds, maps, and other features. On the store page, the only thing that you can get is the OST. You can't five or more. Maybe there was that originally, but I don't know. Because I can't pay for it. Probably would if there was, but... Um, is the screen supposed to fall down completely, or... Just fucking local cult. Wait, what's going on every time I move my? Fucking log. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then I can just change my skin color. Right? <laughs> oh, it's just yeah, okay. That a fucking... Well. Uh, locked in down my version, but maybe I don't know, maybe there's a story behind it, maybe like So I can do delivery and collect. Just like regular tapes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one that one's a good one. I like that. Alright, what's this one? Say so roll, jump, and unbox and be the first one to the potential finish box. Okay. I mean it's not doing a Minecraft thing, which is pretty interesting. Oh god, even the maps are fucking... <clears throat> Come on, I can't tell if this is match... I don't think this is matchmaking, but... Five? Oh, the minutes, right. Right, um... 
Oh wow, that's actually a lot of weapons there. Cost. Oh no. Um, B4, yeah. I'll we'll just give it a B4. Don't know what the hell these are. We could make assumptions, but let's not waste any time, shall we? Alright, that one, the loading screen actually collapsed in, so maybe this will load in. Our settings. They said it was custom, so I figured it automatically found my right settings. But if it. I don't like the stuttering. I mean, what's my. 81%. Her button that I'm supposed to. F? Okay, I can't. Shit. Um, alright, alright, what is that forward? What the hell is that thing blowing in front of me? Oh, is that just my arrow to tell me where to go? I, I thought that was my interaction. Okay, alright, hang on, can I... Right. Controls and layout, sensitivity, for camera, camera assist. Oh, wow. Force feedback, oh, okay, that's, um... They got good settings, I would admit. And I like how my control layout is instantly visible when I pause. I really appreciate when that is so in games. Not necessary. And some games you know, are better without it. But yeah, it's appreciated. Oh, and I don't even have to. Alright, yeah, there's a problem here because I don't have the... um the full options list, I can't change my graphics options here. Shit. What was that? Oh, fuck. Fuck, I didn't... I wanted to just double... Shit. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll we'll fiddle around. It doesn't look like... Okay, LB's un unboxed. RB? Jump? But RT's also jump. Maybe attack. A's to interact. Okay, this is fucking... Alright. That's better, because... Okay, so one box is just attack. drop my guns at the same time, can I? Okay, they just explode. As soon as you drop them, they're gone. I'll be was to... Okay, at least respawn isn't tap, is you got to hold it. I don't like the vibration, but I don't think I've got an option to change that. Whoa, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, it's just jump. Oh, okay, I you. I spawn a, another cardboard box to jump off of. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, wait, no. No. Because this is my jump button. Alright, what is. B is for an AOE. What's X for again? Oh, X is the same thing as whatever. Oh, yeah, that's just a change camera. I feel like it. Definitely, um, there's no actual multiplayer. I'm just gonna have to play single player. We we'll see if there's a tutorial. Um, this game certainly is good enough to please me. On well, it's more than enough to please me on its options, really. Not enough to impress me, of course. But. Fuck <laughs> Right, I forgot. I gotta change the settings. Oh uh, boy. It's not gonna fucking load, is it, either? Oh shit, it says 
story and shit. I don't really like the voice, I was like, <laughs> You either have none, or you have actual voice lines for the, for the, the fucking imagery, isn't it? Oh shit, I actually asked my character customers. I heard there might be some wild cards causing trouble like this. Alright, so we're doing the Mario thing where it highlights the characters. They're bad. Fuck, oh, this newbie. Alright, so they don't use my name even though it's in text, but just use the thing. So I'm gonna be called newbie the whole game. Wait, will we attack you on site? Yeah. So to have this run, I've gotta have the text as shit, but at least I can. Watch out for wild cards or something. Don't worry, newbie, just testing your reflexes. What's your status, Diggy? Please scroll fast, actually, it'd be quicker. Scanning parasite level. Oh, I was like, edit. I know it's a reference to one of those kids shows, but I don't know what it is because it's one of the new ones and, you know, I'm, I'm just a bit too old for it. No offense to anyone that does, I know one of my fucking vibration. Zippy number 52. Oh, they've got a... I wonder if they do have a number. We're gonna Paradise Isle. This is a bit better because now I have to tap A, which is what it is more fitting to. It's interesting that it's got R to it. It has that Nintendo feel to it that I like. Sorry about the textures again, I just set it to lower so I could actually record this. Um, and it would load and shit. It, it looks a lot better when it's not. Um, when I do this in a YouTube video, y'all. We'll catch on, I don't know if anyone's watching the stream for. You must be that new box that Bounce was talking about. <laughs> So, it's interesting, because in this world, there's those other boxes there that don't seem to be alive. So there's living boxes and dead boxes in this universe. I wonder what the lore implication is of that is. Mm. <laughs> That's like a fucking full-on baddie video fucking series on the lore of the cardboard boxes. You're much bigger than you looked on TV. Oh, I was on TV despite being called fucking newbie? What? I guess my newbie character also has a reputation for them. GPS thinks you might be able to save their business. Me yeah, yeah, okay. So he's supposed to be like UPS, the American, but okay. Interesting. I thought he was sticking to like GPS, the thing, like global, global positioning system. I'm like, what? But first you need to be tested. Yeah, so there, there is going to be. Bounce has told me to guide you through three easy tasks before letting you explore. Yeah, so there's going to be a tutorial. I might skip over if that also takes too long. Maybe just do a couple clips here and there. Just like this magical floating silver. <laughs> okay, I like that they... Holy shit, they're all marked out already. Fuck. <laughs> there's like a little seat area that I can just chill out. But I like how they just point out there's like magical glowing... Oh, oh, sorry, floating tape. That reminds me of back in the fucking PS2 days of like, um, stuff like GTA San Andreas where just objects would float above you and you just pick it up. You know, back when games tried to be fun and not logical and realistic and all that. But... Owen, oh, no unboxing. To me, unboxing sounds like they're stripping nude, or just like flashing themselves, but... It also kind of sounds like a loot box thing. I want to know how fast you are, not how high you can jump. Oh, okay, so loot boxing is kind of a jumping technique thing that I tested out before. Let's roll! Collect all the silver tapes and don't fall in the water. Ready is R2, okay. <laughs> I really like that light thing. I didn't pay all that much attention to it before. It's so cutesy how you just fucking roll around because it's like this. <laughs> I didn't press a button, I just rolled into it. That's so cool. Wait, do I have to. Okay, I have to jump. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking locking thing. That's so great. I'm already liking this, and it's got a little. And if I aim it. Alright. Yep. I, l I like this game. This this has a nice feel to it. The FPS is kind of running a bit of shit, but, um, you know, streaming and all that. I'm sure if I weren't, it would be capable of running it, at least on 
minimum. Oh geez, that flash. But yeah, there's going to be a couple more uh, first impressions that are actually going to be from this year. Some of them are going to be several months ago. That I'm going to do um, in the next couple of days or so. Those trampolines. They almost kind of look like trampolines now. It's kind of weird that it doesn't help me. Maybe it will when I need to actually jump on how to jump for this. Oh boy, I thought it was going to fucking crash it. Holy shit. Okay, vibration whenever I hit something. That's not that great. I like how it clips through my hat anytime I roll over my head. <laughs> I guess you don't want it to end the gameplay, but it just doesn't look that flushy. Get that duct tape. Oh boy, oh no, boy. With that guy pointing it out to just rub it in. Fuck me. Bro. Wait, does this save my dead body? Oh, fuck me, I held A again. Right. Well, aim for that box, because that would stop me from... Yeah, got an over jump. Yeah, I completed GPS. Global push. <laughs> good one. That's that's a fucking. That's good. That's good. Ooh, animate. Yeah, face. All right, you have to press R to not A. Hey, you're fast. What the fuck? You were on the stage before, you just teleport up here? What the fuck? My favorite part of that challenge is when the tape went DING! Why would tape go DING? <laughs> Fireworks. Sometimes a customer will pay extra for a speedy delivery. Here we go! First you need a tape. Did I see a target randomly? So with that target, it's just randomly flick around the bottom of the screen. You will need to equip a firework by rolling into a weapon crane. So, like, yeah, this is super like Mario. I like that they have the actual button prompt pop up when you do the, um, when, when you are looking through the text, as well as the icons here. It feels like a really fully fleshed out game where they actually put in enough mechanics and distinct devices so you know what you're locking at and you know what you're meant to do so it feels uh, a um a cut above the other fucking first impressions games that i do fire r2 it fire it when you're aiming at yeah we when you read the fucking what's supposed to be an emoji but it's like a button that doesn't translate well but and you're aiming toes. Green. Greens mean you're locked on and the fireworks will move your top. So when it says locked on, does that mean it will follow the target if you were moving? Or does that mean it's locked on as in it's just looking at the target? Red means you've locked. Didn't they just say green means you're locked on? But something might get in the way of your fireworks. To pass the test, hit all four targets. Simple. Shoot the targets with your lock on fireworks. A little spray paint of what looks like it's meant to be a love heart. Not quite. And a face on it. Interesting. Somewhat unique and somewhat not at the same time. Yeah, I, I think that would be enough. Hopefully that's not too much. Kinda of hard to judge. I don't usually do glasses like this one. It's easier to judge when you get like a young one that that's bottom separate to 
the actual bottom of the cup in one that's, you know, like transparent, like a glass cup or plastic or something, rather than steel. He's so dumb that RT is fucking ready up. I, I love that fucking. Oh, okay, that's actually the things that have tigers blown up on. Do I. Holy shit, I only get one firework. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Okay. It's just like a floating firework as big as my cardboard block. Oh, there's a dot, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. That's a fucking hard lock on, holy shit. Look at look how far that is. And it's locked onto that. My dot's all the way down at the fucking bottom. That's a fucking hard lock on. Alright, so you get two. That's that's not bad. That's not bad, I guess. It doesn't look like it's hard to like though, you have to literally run into the thing for it to sideways, how good sideways button. Oh fuck, that's that's strong too. Wow. What the hell are those green boxes there? Firework fun challenge complete. Yeah, that was much easier. Well, you're great at shooting things. So this is clearly stronger on platforming than it is shooting. Interesting. Wood, it doesn't look too bad either. Certainly more cartoony style, but... You just locked me in a cage, bro. Hang on, you're in the cage too. What the fuck? This is a box just spinning around uncontrollably against the wall. <laughs> Try to escape the cage and come meet me up by the bridge. So what, are you just gonna teleport away? Or are you just gonna jump out too? If you don't know where to go, follow the magical floating arrow. Good luck! Cage and confused. Escape the cage and follow Zippy part number 52. That was a really hard puzzle. Mm. That was me actually worried that might actually be a bit of a tricky puzzle, but... Oh boy. That's what it, Oh no, it's that weird box that always bubbles us. to the other. Oh, and he gets replaced by the... Okay... Is 
am I getting crushing or? the level or is that like I'm actually gonna have to walk through all that shit that actually looks kind of fucking long I hear a lot of clapping but it was only like one dude there that was just walk all the way over there ah okay yeah yeah because that's the icon when it shows on the store page that little tower thingy that's super important yeah that's what you Good. Hey, there's that guy from the fucking lighting screen. Well done, you boss. First challenge with flying colors. Here come a completely different colors. <laughs> The guys just got like shitty and grinned that never changes. Hey, hey, Sissy. Hey. Wild. I'm sure he's very wild. What's that theme? Well, it seems the um, voice lines is set to a timer rather than to when the dialogue passes. Guess I didn't interpret anyone with that voice. Okay, so he feels like he's being bullied, so there's probably two sides to this coin that I'll find out later in the game. Don't know Snoopy and Fight for Freedom. The most vague and indiscreet fucking motive ever. Think about it, Nubi. I'm off the cause chaos. Well, okay, maybe that's not, since he literally just said I'm off the cause chaos. The wild cars will be all over Paradise Isles. You'll face many challenges, Nubi. Be careful out there. I'm sure it looks better. The wild cards have found, have even found this place. What should be my next move? Well, this story is something about, considering we've got like two different fucking, three different factions, two different enemies. Like, it's like this story's gonna have multiple arcs to and shit. You're not going to join Boss Wild and the wild cards, are you, newbie? Am I even gonna get a fucking option? My character doesn't even fucking talk. Is that a new on? The same GPS will fail in the world. Fuck what? Of delivery. <laughs> I like how they delayed that. That's, that's great. That's fucking. Collect stamps to complete your training. Okay. 
I won't stream another game after this if it doesn't work out. But if it does, I might actually stream Lego the Hobbit after this, just for y'all's sake. Oh boy, I didn't think that was fucking. Going up here is certainly different. I'm going slower, it pushes me downhill. Not pushing up here. Which would make sense if I was a round object, but I'm kind of just a box, so it doesn't really. <clears throat> I feel like this would be way more detailed if it weren't quite my folly, but the fact that I'm just sliding through the ground is kind of. I think I'm straight up flipping through the ground here. Well, not anymore, but you know. I can help you with your training. Am I still doing training? Well, the tutorial is going to go longer than I thought. Restoring means a super hot act. Oh, fuck me. Well, I feel like it, this is an episode of Boundary Break now, because... What is that? Maybe it's something that comes into play later. Zero one. Is that something I heard? Is that maybe just something that's on that building? That, that's what it looks like. It looks like a building to me. Because that's a clearly defined building. Yeah, that's not just like more great. Maybe if I turn that camera a bit. Yeah, it was gonna fuck it. The light's glowing off to the left, and the branches are moving, but my camera is not. Alright, my camera did just say. Okay, that's the end of the thing. There's no more numbers. There's a rock just next to it. Interesting. Maybe that's gonna be in the spot for every map. But if there's no loading screen between the zones, which would be impressive for a fucking indie game, to be honest. I think I would have pulled the uh, if I didn't jump so much in front of it. <laughs> Eat shit. Eat shit, Mr. Guitar playing box thing. But everyone looks schizo how they just move around by rolling up box dogs. Yeah, this is gonna be enough for it to play. I'm, I'm just, I'm just calling it here. I don't think I can do a review of this. Oh no, I'll see what that's. Boy. I don't know how long ago the model was, so I don't know if I'll be able to Is this escape not just a fucking close button? Oh, okay, it is. Alright. 